Hi guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we're going to talk all about Consensus 2018. Why hasn't the bull run started? Everyone is wondering why Consensus hasn't started a bull run for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. In today's video we're going to talk about whether a bull run will start soon, or whether there's going to be a price surge or not, or whether it's going to be a complete bear market for the whole 2018. So watch this video to find out. So just a quick update on the market. The market has been on a strong strong downtrend bitcoin and and major cryptocurrencies have been going down so it's not the best time for hodlers and, and it's difficult to say whether to buy now or buy the dip or not because it could go further down so I'd, I'd be waiting for a bit longer to see whether i buy or not because it could potentially go back to those levels that we saw earlier at, at the start of the year so i would wait until we can we start to buy in but it's not it, buying the dip is not the worst thing you could potentially trade when it goes up to 10,000 it's up to you guys so what is consensus Co consensus kicked off to a flyer with lambos there there was really nice cars i was looking at these cars and i was a bit jealous because I, I can't wait to buy a lambo of my own one day but consensus has been really popular you can see the interest over time so people were expecting really big things for consensus and i have tweeted some things out there's there's, there's been like fake scam parody rallies as well uh for bit bitcoin so it's been quite interesting what consensus and i've been watching a lot of it online and there are there have been some good conferences and some good talks going around so why hasn't the price gone up first of all guys the market is on a downtrend and it's difficult market always favors to go the the, the trend always follows the trend unless there's a major news and the market has been on a downtrend P previously during consensus it wasn't really on a downtrend it was on an uptrend and consensus just fueled it up so that's probably one of the main reasons there's been a lot of news of korea is massive on bitcoin and cryptocurrency there, there was some fad or bad news coming up with upbeat there's been more rumors about Mount Gox. I've tweeted about this. Um, I'm not sure how much of an effect this is happening. So people were, loads of analysts were saying consensus 2018 will be the trigger point. And as you can see, the attendance has been going up. So you'd expect it to go up. There's been interviews on CNBC talking about previous consensus, where it went up and where it went down. So why hasn't it gone up and could it actually go up this is the question we would look to answer because it wasn't just few analysts there's loads of people loads of analysts uh, around the people senior and knowledgeable more knowledgeable than me on bitcoin and cryptocurrency saying that consensus was going to kick off a massive bull run and this is a scenario that i'd just like to quickly read out bull bear scenario developing where folks are arguing it's getting lower our view is this is a much bigger bottom that has developed if that's the case this pullback will be relatively shallow it's already pulling back from the 200 day it's sitting just above the 50 day moving average so between 8800 and 8000 200 and i know it's a big range that's where i see we'll see support and we think bitcoin continues higher from here so a few people have said that bitcoin will go up so uh, this is my second so first reason is the whole market the uh, the feeling behind the market the way the market is the the trend of the market is a downward trend uh, the, the emotions around the market is not great so that is having an effect and if you look at the chart guys Previously, in 2015, 2016, 2017, during the event, it went up 23, 10% and 69%. But the main gains came after two months after consensus, 121%, 78%, 138%. So the, the main bull run came after um, the, the consensus event. It wasn't during it. So that would be my another point that I'm trying to make. Because there's so much fraud, you know, Warren Buffett and I mean, I've, I've talk, made a video about why I think Warren Buffett is wrong and, and some of the other Wall Street members that have come come out bashing Bitcoin. But the those those news are having a negative effect. But in the long run, I still think Bitcoin will go up. And this is because it takes time. There hasn't been any groundbreaking news from consensus and people were already expecting consensus. So consensus price was already priced in. So people it's like buy the rumor, sell the news. When the news comes out, it's already priced into Bitcoin. It's a difficult concept to get if you're not from a stock, if you don't trade, if you're not from a financial markets background, but people have already expected 
expecting this price increase so unless a really good news came out it wouldn't have gone up and and i was bullish on consensus but i wasn't massively bullish and also it takes time for the news to come up so there's been really good conversations interesting if you watched it online or if you we're lucky enough to attend the attend the event you would have seen some really brilliant conversations of partnerships but it takes for the partnerships to come to good so people are not just going to come and make partnership and announce them so that's why i think in the long run over the next two months we will see a impact from this consensus and finally the final point is you know um, i'll try and find out uh, the attendance of previous attendees so as you can see the attenders were less but people that went to these weren't wall street institutional investors is they were more about bitcoin blockchain believers so it was just kind of people going out there to find out more and buying bitcoin now there's so much regulations and institutional investors want to use the fundamental analysis of stock and their kind of mindset is different to us so people probably don't know much about bitcoin again this is a speculation guys back then the community was different it was a great community to be part of people were about hodling sharing the technology and, and expecting big things now people are trading trying to make small profits institutional investors are, are quite they're using the old tactics old technical and fundamental analysis to analyze bitcoin and sometimes it doesn't work and it will take time for them to understand it so although the attendance attendance is high and it's a kind of it's it's I mean, this is a quality of bitcoin to attract so many people and, and it, it, we shouldn't think it's, a, it's necessarily bad but it, it will take time for institutional investors to start believing in bitcoin and blockchain it's not what it was like before before it was about oh we're going to get together we're going to hype it up we're going to buy bitcoin we want to find out more about bitcoin now people are a bit cautious with regulations around the corner as well so this institutional money is not really coming in people are kind of on the caution and analyzing in a different way so it's going to take time i'm not i'm not sure whether we're going to see a massive bull run just for consensus there's got to be other news coming out so i'm still bullish on on bitcoin and cryptocurrency for 2018 there is a small chance that you know we could be moving sideways or there could be a bear market for the whole of 2018 but i like i've said i think it takes time for partnerships to come through it takes time for institutional investors to understand about bitcoin and come towards us so I think in the long run it will be good but currently guys I'm not sure whether this month is going to be as good but over the over the couple of weeks and next month I'm expecting a bull run or at least a big higher up um, there could be a double bottom or the risk of a bear another dip before the bull run but I am expecting a bull run. So I want you to finish uh, finish off in a in a positive and saying that if you see previous history price ranges it has gone up and I believe in two months time we will be higher than where we are is it going to be an all-time high i'm not too sure but i believe it's going to be higher at least than ten thousand. or i mean i'm not I'm, i don't want to really say a number but it's going to be at least 10 to fifteen thousand range so that's just my prediction guys i hope you guys enjoyed it what are your thoughts guys do you think consensus is going to have an effect on bitcoin and cryptocurrency price what is your prediction for bitcoin in two months time please comment below and I'm going to look at the comments and also leave a reason below and if you want to win half a Litecoin guys I'm giving half a Litecoin away leave your Litecoin addresses below that is your Litecoin address not your Bitcoin address leave your Litecoin addresses below with your Bitcoin prediction and you will win half a Litecoin so thank you very much for watching this video please drop your Litecoin address and your Bitcoin prediction below and also to be in to be in with a chance of winning it you need to subscribe to my channel other videos on bitcoin cryptocurrency price predictions uh, events breaking news technical analysis the whole lot really to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of crypto money so if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel leave comments below and smash that like button and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much